There are many people who consider their luck around the game Dokkan Battle to be abysmally low, but throughout the community, no one has had their shafts nearly as documented as the YouTubers who create content around the game. So today we're going to delve deep into the Dokkan archives to uncover the three most unfortunate shafts in Dokkan Battle history. Starting with the release of Golden Frieza, Yanogenix found himself waiting seven months until he was able to achieve any extra copies of the character. On June 21st, 2022, LR Golden Frieza's banner was released. On the same day, Yanogenix dropped his first video summoning on the banner, spending over 1,200 stones. Later, he collaborated with other popular Dokkan YouTubers, particularly Diddy Sauce, throughout the year. Nanogenix would watch Diddy Sauce pull copy after copy of LR Golden Frieza before pulling even one extra copy in the span of seven months, leading Nano to spend an additional 2k stones on the LR STR Super Saiyan Goku's banner in hopes of pulling LR Golden Frieza unfeatured to no avail. Cutting his losses, Nanogenix in the same video ended up using 2,000 red coins to buy the character's last four copies. Listen, I know I just said I wouldn't do this. If you're wondering why I don't just use coins for these units, I still love summoning in this game. I've never taken a unit from 55% to rainbow before. Now, that's not to say I won't do that at some point, but here's the thing. I sort of realized, first off, I do think this unit's gonna last a long time. Like, I do genuinely think, like, just with the way his damage reduction works, uh, Wicked Bloodline is always going to get a, you know, a buff fairly, fairly often, question mark. <laughs> and I want to be able to use him at his max potential way he's really good right now because I really like running this team. After Worldwide, we got all these units. I like running this team, man. And so I was like, okay, do I really want to sit here and potentially, you know, not pull another one of these for literal years? Like, I I'll be interested in seeing if we get one. Jeez, man. I mean, when you think about it, the next LR banner won't be until sometime during the, during the, wow. It won't be until the eighth anniversary. After seven months and over 6,000 stones, the Nano LR Golden Frieza arc concluded, costing him over an estimated $3,000. But compared to Diddy Sauce, Nanogenix got off lucky. On December 28th, 2022, amidst the excitement for the New Year's celebration, the highly anticipated LR Piccolo and LR Ultimate Gohan units were finally released in game. Like many avid players and content creators, Diddy Sauce wasted no time in diving into summoning. Unbeknownst to Diddy Sauce, the RNG gods had something in store for him. Despite his initial excitement, he found himself sinking deeper and deeper into the summoning vortex, spending over 6,000 stones to be exact. During the celebration period, what's more astonishing is that the majority of these stones were devoted solely to summoning on the banner featuring LR Orange Piccolo. Diddy Sauce's determination not only seemed to intensify, his live streams became a marathon of summoning sessions, each attempt fueling the hope of obtaining LR Orange Piccolo. Desperate for just a few more copies, Diddy Sauce persisted, documenting his summoning journey every step of the way. What started as a simple desire to acquire new units transformed into an epic saga, generating over five hours of content solely dedicated to the pursuit of the new LRs. After many streams and videos of summoning on both banners, Diddy Sauce had finally acquired all the needed copies to 100% LR Orange Piccolo. <laughs> Yes! 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 Oh, dude. Oh my gosh, man. Yes, another one. Another. It's over. Never again, bro. I don't care who Eighth Annie is. Never again. Superhero was special. I'm out. Oh. I'm out. I'm not this never again. Ending his shaft on the New Year's banner, spending over ten thousand dollars in the process. However, compared to another content creator, the Truth DT, Diddy Sauce looks like the luckiest man in the world. The Truth DT stands as a towering figure within the Dokkan Battle community, renowned for his showcases, insightful news and updates, and overall personality revolving around the game. However, it was the release of a singular unit that marked the genesis of this unfortunate saga. I will be dubbing. 15 episode shaft. On June 30th, 2020, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, Kaioken, and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolved Vegeta's banners were released for that year's Sanabata celebration. In anticipation, the Truth DT wasted no time in starting up his first 10k stone stream. However, as the summons progressed, optimism began to wane. Despite the expenditure of 5,000 stones, the new LR failed to make an appearance. With disappointment looming large, the stream came to an end, leaving the Truth DT empty handed without even a single copy of the character. Uh, all right, guys, this is the last one. We're, we're actually done. This was really bad. Um, 
I feel like we pulled Krillin like six times. I this is probably my worst shaft ever. I don't know. Like this does feel like it. Uh, this was super super bad. Undeterred by the setback, the Truth DT persisted, creating 15 videos documenting the summons on the new LR's banner, all in pursuit of obtaining 10 copies of the character. Finally, after 16,750 stones had been spent in total, 10 copies had finally been acquired, and victory was achieved. I don't know if I got the heart to do another video, actually. I might just buy, like, I might just cut, buy stones, and we're just gonna make this the final video. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I actually, I'm sitting here like, I can't do another video. Who the hell am I kidding? We're just gonna have to do a marathon. Although, 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 I did that with LR Goku and Frieza, and it turned into a 50 minute video where I did not pull them, eh? Sure. Goku Black Rift, please. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sure. All right. Well. Uh. All right. I was okay. I was so okay. Hello, Weiss. How you doing, Weiss? My boy. Good to see you. All right. So that, those. So we got the final numbers. All right. That's number ten. I mean, if you guys ever ask me to do this ever again, go for ten units. I'm gonna say maybe. <laughs> if you thought I was gonna say hell no, 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 no. The support was so high for the videos that I was like, okay, I'm hopping in. And then some of the closest people to me are saying summon, summon. Like, they're the devil on my shoulder. It's like, all right, well, you know, I... <laughs> she's telling me to do it. Sure, let, let's go for it. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck it. We'll just summon for the 10. Oh, there they are. To put this staggering figure into perspective, 16,750 stones equate to approximately 335 summons on a banner. That typically costs 50 stones per summon. If we disregard stone sales, the estimated average price of a 90 stone pack stands at $44 USD, resulting in a jaw-dropping estimated total of $14,740 for the Truth DT. With the Truth DT getting close to over 10,000 stones without a single copy of LR Blue Boys, this has to be undeniably the most significant instance of a creator getting shafted in the game's history.